already have concealer on my lids and now I'm going to apply a white base. This is just going to help that color really be vibrant and pop. Next, I'm going in with the Nika K Poison Apple Palette and we're going to first start with this really soft pink shade in the crease using a fluffy brush. I'm just going to stamp that into the crease. Now you want to use a stamping motion because this deposits the most amount of product onto that wet primer that we have there. And then once you finish stamping, you're going to take that brush and sweep it side to side like a windshield wiper, flicking the ends out and just buffing over that just to softly blend everything out that we've applied. Then I'm going to take this matte cream color on an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to start by applying that underneath the arch of my brow and then lightly bring that over the edge of the pink that we have in the crease just to sort of diffuse that edge and then I'm going to switch back to the original brush that we used in that crease, that fluffy blending brush, just to further soften the lines there. I'm going to use this ColourPop Ornate palette but it's literally just for this one color so this can be improvised using another color. And I just apply that on a smaller crease brush throughout the crease to deepen that socket up. Then I'm taking this gorgeous bright cranberry raspberry color and using my finger to apply that on my lid for the most maximum payoff of color. I'm then going to use a small smudge brush or a detail brush and get it damp. You could either do this with a setting spray or with a wipe. And then taking this matte cranberry color and I'm going to use this to create a wing. I'm not going to create a very large wing and the wing is not going to cover my entire eye. It's just going to be right about halfway on the eyelid. So it is from the outer corner to about halfway on the lid. I'm just going to use a concealer brush and a little bit of my concealer just to clean up the underside of that wing. I want this to be really sharp and crisp. I'm going to add false lashes to this look from the Krista G collection and this is in the style Lyra. use a black eyeliner to tight line and then I go in with some mascara to blend my lashes in with my real lashes going back to that detail brush and the darker cranberry color that we've used for the wing I'm gonna take that and line that very close to my lower lashes as close as I can get it And then I apply that raspberry lid color along the inner part of the lower eye. I'm then going to soften this line up by using that lighter pink color that we first applied in the crease just on a pencil brush and just blurring out the edge of that line that we just drew on the lower lash line. I'm then going to use this blush but again this is optional you could use something else that has a very similar shade and it's in this rosy gold pink shade and I'm just adding this here to break up the monotony between all of that pink that's on the lid and it's going to just help me to bring together the upper and lower lash line and then I'm going to use this lighter gold and I'm applying that right on the actual tear duct itself, trying not to blend that too much, just because I want that to be a really bright pop of light on the inner corner. Mm -hmm. 
I'm also going to add a little bit of that right underneath the arch of the brow to add a little bit of highlight there as well. I'm going to add a nude liner to my waterline. This is just going to make the look very clean. And then lastly, I'm going to finish up with a coat of mascara on my lower lashes. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon in another video.